What's up, guys? This is Crypto with James talking to you today about Phantom. Um, Phantom's just outstanding. It really is. Um, and I want to take a look at what price this can reach, um, particularly with the new developments in terms of the ecosystem fund, particularly with the fact that Andrew Cronje uh, returned to the Phantom project uh, a few, well, several months ago now. What can this do in terms of price? Well, let's take a look. But before I get to that, guys, if you are new to this channel, these are the first 26 coins that I did videos on, on this channel. When I did these videos, I was saying, I'm buying these coins, they're outstanding. Had, and these were the prices of recordings, these were the current prices, and if you put in 100 bucks, this would be your current profit, if you were still holding these coins, like three years on, which you shouldn't be. Um, but if you would sell all of them today, you bank around 13k in profit from a $2,600 investment, that's 5x in profit, which is pretty good. But they should have been sold in 2021, like I did, like my friends did, like my followers did. And if you had done that, the $2,600 investment would have brought you a profit of 123 grand. Huge difference. Now, as I said, I've sold all these, they're not what I own. If you do want to see the cryptos that I have been buying up in this bear cycle, the cryptos that I currently hold, you can do. Just go over to copymycrypto.com and read the site. It'll take about 10 minutes. Uh, everything on that site is all public record. So you can literally go through this YouTube channel and you can verify everything that you read. So if when you read it, you go, I really like this, confirm everything you've read, go through the channel. Um, and if you still like it, you can join me there. Um, if you read it, you go, nah, not for me. No worries. There's no obligation to buy guys. Um, keep watching the channel though. Um, but on the site, I give the members, uh, updates in real time. Anytime I buy or sell any coin. Um, and look guys, if you're looking to make these kind of gains, if you're looking to make gains in crypto, but you either don't have the time, don't have the energy, don't, uh, have the interest to do all the required reading, the required research, looking at the charts, looking at the white papers. That's all I do. That's how I've picked the coins that I've picked in the past. That's how I picked Theta. That's how I picked Zillica. That's how I picked VeChain. That's how I picked Phantom. And no one was talking about Phantom in 2020. Go find a single crypto YouTuber that was saying Phantom in 2020 was going to 100 x I released a Udemy course literally saying the best crypto investment of 2020. And it was Phantom and why it would 100 x When I find the next Phantom, where do you think that goes? That goes onto the site. Guys, this is the coin I found. This is, the game. this is the gains I think it'll have. This is the money that I'm putting in. And people can copy along. If that sounds good to you, then this site may be for you. But like I say, go read the site. Um, and maybe I'll see you there. So, Phantom. Uh, Phantom's just immense. Uh, so, most of the max supply is out. You know, 88% of that now. Um, current price is nearly 47 cents now. Uh, all-time high was $3.46 for Phantom. So Phantom's a DAG network. Uh, it's a smart contract uh, DAG network. It's key for DeFi. Phantom's DeFi section is where they're focused, uh, where they're booming. Um, the, to the Phantom token fuels the entire ecosystem, pays for the transactions. And the beauty of this, because Phantom's always been bloody cheap as well, like really cheap to, to do a transaction. But they have since done a few different things to really bring uh, development to Phantom. So, um, Phantom, Phantom's um, Andrew Cronje made a surprising announcement that he was returning to Phantom. Um, and uh, I was actually really... Um, pleased to see a few different things come out um everyone in, is always going to be very bullish on the fact that andrew Cronje is there obviously he's the creative year and he's a genius he's he's done you know the projects that he has built have been immensely successful the fact that because he left crypto for a while um he found the sort of the tribalism within within crypto and the sort of attitudes from a proportion of retail investors 
uh, somewhat repugnant. He left. He said he's he done with the space for a while. He has since come back, which is good. It's great for Phantom. Um, and what have they done? Well, they have uh, developed their their ecosystem fund really well. Now, there's a few things that I want, that in particular I want to highlight. So there's now 250,000 Phantom available inside the Phantom ecosystem vault. Now, what this is, is the incentivization money for developers. So the ecosystem vault is an on-chain fund, on chain fund financed by 10% of the transaction fees on Phantom. So it goes straight there to the ecosystem fund. It's controlled by the community. And basically, if a project wants to launch up Phantom, they can uh, get hold of some of that some of that money to help with uh, overhead costs for development. Now, that is a really good idea. It's a really good idea because it naturally it means they're not having to find money to allocate. No, no, no. They are taking it out of the daily transactions that occur. So it utilizes the network. They and they have utilized the network in a very effective way to bring to extract value from from transactions that were already happening and utilize some of that money to really go, guys, come with us, come build with us. I like that. I like that. Rather than just going, we're gonna add, we we pre-designed or to have or pre yeah, pre-designed or pre-decided that we're gonna have this amount of uh money that we give to developers. No. The network itself is self-funding. Great idea. Great idea. Um, now the on-chain metrics are a bit uh, weak at the moment, just in the in terms of the huge drop in active addresses. We saw a big, 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 big drop over the past few weeks, um, and a similar declining trend in the number of transactions. But the fact that they've int introduced this ecosystem vault has uh, certainly brought some excitement back to Phantom. And we saw that, uh, and, we'll, and we'll see that in terms of more network activity inevitably. Um, there are also their data is showing, is showing pretty positive things in terms of their DeFi sort of selections. You know, Spooky Swap is now, uh, is now their largest volume uh dex which is doing about 50.7 mil um counts for about 30 percent of all dex volume on phantom their total value locked across the phantom network rose by four and a half percent in the last 24 hours since that news came out um which again really strong sign it's it's showing that people are going oh i want to i want to be in this more uh, i want to profit from this more um uh yeah and it again just a few positive signs for phantom um now combine that with uh again the fact that andrew cronier uh returned when you look at the actual partners of uh of phantom you know you've got a few good ones crypto.com travala uh ethereum classic interestingly waves and i think waves is going through a real revolution at the moment I, i'm really impressed with some of the stuff I've seen uh, from the Waves team. I think they are actually really going to going to improve uh, things. It's, over the past sort of seven or eight months, I've really seen Waves grow and do, start doing things in a smart and transparent way. Um, government and enterprises, so they're with Pakistan Private Education Institute, so with Pakistan Punjab Prisons Department, uh, with uh, partnered with the Minist Ministry of Industry, of uh, new technologies of Tajikistan. Um, they're partnered with Royal Star Pharma uh, to effectively identify counterfeit drugs. Uh, also Nabros Pharma, same principle. Um, also Bliss GVS, which is uh, another fast growing pharmaceutical company. Again, uh, Phantom allows for uh, tracking of distributed medicines along with uh, identification of, fraud, of counterfeit ones. All a really nice and clever way of doing things, and then combine that with the fact that they have now got over two hundred different integrations, uh, DApps that just have already been deployed. 
you know, these are the DEXs, tons of goddamn DEXs. Um, the lending and borrowing is now starting to look really good. You know, you can see uh, Geist, you've got Alchemix, uh, Alpaca Finance, um, Cream, which is an Andrew Cronier project. Uh, when you check out the Oracles, obviously they're integrated with a few Oracles. Teller, API 3, two of the best, in my opinion. Um, truly decentralized Oracles. Uh, GameFi as well. GameFi is beginning to grow quite nicely. You know, they've got a few different uh, a few different projects that are starting to be used. They've also got the yield optimizers as well. You know, so Beefy Finance, Yearn, um, Liquid Driver Tomb Finance, One Ring. Um, all Phantom working with all of them. Um, and, you know, Phantom's fundamentally going to be quite a useful solution for Enterprise. Now, the question, I suppose, will be more around, you know, which partnerships they can build with enterprises. Enterprise, uh, you know, getting businesses on board is always a challenge at the moment, but, and there's big competition around this. So, you know, they've certainly uh, got hold of the pharmaceutical space. Um, we'll see what else that they can get sorted. But what I'm really interested in with Phantom and their DeFi is what they're going to start introducing next. Because their DeFi is where uh, their growth can come because Phantom's so cheap, Phantom's so fast. It's ideal for DeFi. Now, real-world assets are the next ev evolution in, um, in DeFi. That, that has to be the next stage. And interestingly, I actually think I found Andrew Cronje talking about this not that long ago. Um, where was it? Was it this one? Might not have been this one. Um, no, I don't think Polygon to deliver. Oh. No, it's not this one then. Okay. Um, I'm sure I saw Andrew Cronje talking about it. And he, and he was talking about the fact that the next evolution, I'm sure he, it was him, talking about the next evolution of DeFi being real-world assets. And again, it comes back to the sort of way in which the development of the current financial, traditional, I don't know what phrase, but the traditional financial markets, how did they evolve? And inevitably, DeFi will probably go through the same evolution so one of the next steps has to be that sort of introduction of tokenized real world assets. And that I expect us to see a real explosion in that um, and real growth. in that. And then after that, it's got to be insurance. Um, so Phantom's real next step is getting that development of real world assets, getting that integration, getting that tokenization uh, and get projects that are, do, that are pushing that uh, idea. because. It, it that could feasibly change the way in which all traditional markets work. One of the reasons that we saw Tiki Tuari get so goddamn excited about synthetics was that principle. All of a sudden, a traditional finance market is open 24 hours. Changes the game. Now, obviously, traditional finance are probably going to want to stamp down on that in some way because you don't want assets that are mirrored. Like the problem with mirrored asset is it's, yeah, it, you, you don't actually own the token. Like you don't own the stock. You are owning something that's pegged to the price of the stocks. Now, if you can tokenize stocks and actually have an element of ownership of those stocks, or ownership of those stocks as a result of tokenization. Holy crap, traditional finance is a game changer. It changes everything. Um, and that probably is the next evolution. And, and the thing is, is why wouldn't traditional finances want this? You know, if, if, if they can figure out a way to capitalize and earn more money, they're going to want it. New York Stock Exchange, they're not going to want to not have more money coming in. So it makes sense that that's the next evolution. It's just how is it going to, um, how is it going to look, I suppose, is the question. 
uh, how is it going to be received? What what what's going to be the sticking points? Because regulation and clarity is all is something that we just don't have in this space right now. But I think Phantom, if they really start growing that area and really funding that area effectively, this is going to go through the roof. I mean, I I I expect Phantom to break its previous high. I really do. I can see this hitting ten bucks. I put it in market cap of twenty seven billion. Yeah, that's high. How high is it? Not that big in the scale, in the scheme of things. Not when you're looking at a Bitcoin of 100 grand. Not when you're looking at an Ethereum of 10 grand. That would make most both of those coins have market caps over a trillion dollars each. So then, 27 billion, it's a drop in the ocean. It's a drop in the ocean. It's like 400th of uh, of the market cap of Ethereum if Ethereum hits 10 grand. So can it hit $10? It absolutely can. And it's got the leadership in place. It's got the development in place. It's, it's outstanding. That's why I picked is why I picked it as the best investment of 2020. Um, I mean, the, like I say, the question is, is do they push on that real world assets, uh, development? I hope to see, I hope that they do. I hope that we see that because that evolution will result in huge price appreciation. Um, and anyone that's in Phantom right now will benefit from that massively. Uh, it will make millionaires. It's that simple. Um, but what do you guys think? You know, what do you think? Do you think this can do $10? Do you think I'm actually, do you think I'm overstating it? Do you think I'm understating it? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and if you are a returning viewer, hit the subscribe button. These videos are going to make you money. You don't want to miss them. And you know what? Calm is a real thing. So if you do something nice, like hit the subscribe button, you'll be rewarded. Right. Um, and guys, if you want to see the coins that I own, the cryptos that I've been buying up in the bear cycle, the ones that are all in my holdings right now, go to copymycrypto.com. If you read that site, it'll take 10 minutes. Every single thing that you read on the site, you can verify on this YouTube channel's history. It's literally all public record. So read it. If you like what you read, verify. If you don't like what you read, obviously there's no obligation to buy, just move on. But don't ignore the site, read the site, see what's happened. Um, on the site as well, additionally to the fact that, you know, I just share the coins that I'm in and members want to copy because we've got a public record of success. Um, but we also do release videos every day talking about the markets. We also have um, tutorials set up if you're a crypto beginner. These are perfect for you. Um, but fundamentally, guys, if you just don't have the time, the energy, or want to do 10,000 hours of reading, uh, looking at charts, looking at white papers, reading about projects, comparing about with other projects, guess what? That's all I do. That's how I've picked the coins that I'm in. It's how I've got pick the coins in this spreadsheet. If you want to take the work out of it for yourself, literally copy along, make the same profits I do, and copy my crypto could be for you. So go read the site, and maybe I'll see you there. Take it easy, guys.